Cheers, Drams for Dummies. This is something I was gonna do by myself, like everything else, <laughs> the, the whole channel is what I do by myself that I now just turn a camera on. And and then I thought, should should I shoot this and share this with, with my people? And yeah, absolutely, because that's what is so awesome about bourbon and whiskey and and sharing and having the community and the reason that I started this channel or one of the reasons I started this channel was to have this great community and if you're watching it you're part of this great community so you share this moment with me and you share all the moments that we have here in the kitchen um, and that's the that's the beauty and, and, and value of bourbon or one of them um, other than tasting great and giving you a nice buzz is that it's this slow sipping enjoying like drink it's not a cocktail it's not a beer you're not chugging it you're not shooting it you're taking your time and hopefully you're doing it with friends or family and you're talking about what you're smelling and what you're drinking and it just makes the whole thing an experience makes the whole thing a story and so when you share important events a lot of times or you share tributes or you share memories or you share celebrations it often comes with a nice pour of your favorite drink and I was going to do this again, and it's, it's, it, it's um, a sad moment to do it, but it's an important moment to do it. And um, uh, it gets it, me a chance to talk about my Infinity Bottle, which uh, is another geeky thing that some of us do. And if you don't do it, I'd suggest it because it's just a lot of fun. Um, you get yourself a fancy decanter like this one. Uh, this happens to be a um, Seagram... Uh, product from 1976 which is the year I was born and it was a bicentennial celebration you see right there uh, 1776 on the bottle it's Tiffany uh, made a decanter and it's got the tax stamp and the whole deal so this is and it's got like a, a velvet bag and everything so this is the coolest bottle ever I think I found it on either eBay or Etsy um, not even too expensive but to have a crystal bottle to be designed that's a cool start for a decanter, but find a cool bottle with a good stopper on it. And everyone does these different and you, and you can have your own rules. My rule is when I love a bottle, typically a top shelfer, although they move around, but if I love a bottle and think this is, this needs to be preserved right then and there, when I know that I put two ounces into the infinity bottle so that I know that there's always in theory, it lives, that, that bottle lives on in here. And then I've got a great app called the Infinity Bottle. Uh, that's what I would suggest using. And every time you put something in, you, you, you track the date, the amount, the proof, you, you know, what the bottle was. And then you can put a note as to why you're putting that in. So when I'm putting bottles in, it's typically just, you know, um, uh, just a bottle I love. Um, and when you take it out, then you also do the same thing, one or two ounces out what were you celebrating or what were you paying tribute to or what was the, the special occasion this is a special occasion thing i'll give the stats and the notes underneath the video if you're interested but there's about 27 things in here and if you know me in this short time and my palate like it's not the maybe the most refined palate in the world but to get in here it has to be pretty darn good or pretty darn unique or pretty darn special and i don't i mix rye and bourbons and whiskeys, whatever I like is in here. So this is 27 of my favorite things. Um, I think I looked at my app and it's something like right now about 114 proof. It should, that app will tell you what your proof is because you put your proofs in as you go and it's doing the math of addition and subtraction. So we don't have to, which is great. And uh, so it's like, it's just perfect. And every time I bring something out of this, it's, I'm biased and I know what's it. I know that it's like my infinity bottle and I'm kind of like, it's, I'm celebrating something or doing something. So, but it's always just a fantastic experience. And the, the, that that blend that you're making is yours alone. It's a one-off, and it's special because it's special what went into it and why you're pulling it out is special. So again, I said I won't do too long of a video today, um, but we had a tragedy, <laughs> and I hate to use that word because with things going on around the world like true atrocities and war and people losing. Um, you know, their loved ones in horrific ways and even non-horrific ways. It's just always a, a very tragic thing. A matter of fact, 
the last entry into this bottle was a 19, uh, 2020 George T. Stag that I bought, spent a lot of money for, will never spend that kind of money again, but I needed to get it, and I needed to get it fast as a tribute for my father who passed away in April. So that was the last entry into this bottle. And then today, uh, we're bringing, well, I'm drinking an ounce with you guys and sharing it as a tribute to, and if you've watched the episodes, um, I think it might have been Justin, maybe my brother, someone was sitting here, we were talking, and I don't know what how it came up, but um, you've met Cheetah, my 20, almost one-year-old cat, and we talked about my two backyard chickens, and on Sunday night, Aaron and I were out of out of the house, and we were doing something really cool and really special um, and meaningful for us, um, having a great night, and because of the stupid daylight savings BS and not being used to time changes, and every year it's an adjustment, and every year it's a trauma, <laughs> um, did not put the chickens away that night. So um, the uh, raccoons that had been sniffing around recently decided that was the night that they were going to not just eat the food below the chickens, but actually murder the chickens. So that's dark and that's heavy, but that's it. But again, I, I thought, I should, is that something to share? But that's reality, man. And that's, you guys have your own stuff and, you know, loved what, like uh, parents, friends, family, that's so much bigger than our pets, than our animals. But for you animal lovers out, at lovers out there, and I am absolutely an animal freaking lover. Um, <laughs> And, and I do, I personify, I think like you do, your pets, I personify the birds at my bird feeder and the squirrels out there. And I absolutely personified um, my chickens, uh, raised them from chicks. So from one week old, they were with me. They were lap chickens. I've got pictures all over the place of, uh, and posts of, of me enjoying outside in this awesome backyard we've created with my chickens. And so to lose any pet is horrific but to have them murdered and lost the way that that was and to come home to that after a great night and the images that i had to see um just trauma 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 but no but the long story short of all that is that they were awesome for what they were they were fantastic pets they were great chickens they were great girls who brought joy to this to this world for aaron and i and occasionally brought us some eggs although they were divas and they did not lay nearly enough but uh but they're cheap and they were uh, low maintenance mostly. So, so we're sad here. Um, I'm sad. Um, it's just a bit of there's, you know, as life goes on and you get older, finding your bits of joy and the things that bring you joy um, sometimes get harder to come by. And so when you lose two uh, spots of joy and, and lives in your life at the same time, it doesn't matter if they're if they're fur fur babies or or, or real or real friends and family. It, it, it's going to hurt you in some way. So, with all that said, tribute bottle to um, Aggie and Jojo Bird. Um, too soon. Great great pets, great friends, and uh, we're gonna enjoy some great 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 Infinity Bottle whiskey in their honor, and. Also, as a, as a hopeful toast to that live trap out there catching one of those raccoons tonight. Wink! Because something's going to die. That's not the way to end a tribute. Cheers, fellow dummies. If you've lost somebody or something near to you recently, pour a good thing. Pour your George T. Stag. Pour your Infinity Bottle. Give yourself the 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 grace to pour the high dollar stuff whether it's just an ounce or even a half ounce or whatever and cheers for that loved one and think about the good times and be thankful that you had them in your lives and that they had you in their lives love you all we'll get back on some sort of a regular track very soon cheers A worthy tribute. So good. I'm going to enjoy the rest of it off camera. Love you guys. See you next time. Well, uh, life likes to throw curveballs at us. And just like the, the previous tribute video was not a planned event. And when I thought about making the channel, I didn't figure I'd be doing infinity bottle tribute pours. But uh, it's an important part of kind of what I do with the bourbon. And I know a lot of you guys do the same thing. Toasting loved ones and, and that sort of thing. And um, two weeks after recording that, 
we've ha we're having to do a different, another, I should say, tribute pour from the Infinity Bottle, this time for Cheetah, who I thought about not doing a video for you guys, but you met her um, in a prior video, so good to know that um, she's at peace now, and um, wow, I don't like to do this. If two chickens deserve a tribute pour, then our cheetah girl who lived almost 21 years with us definitely deserves a, a tribute pour. And um, um, so this is just a good moment. Not going to talk anymore about much of that. Um, just to say that, uh, you know, you've got the things and the people and the pets in your life that bring you joy and bring you happiness. Um, on, in honor of Cheetah, um, think about those people, maybe reach out to them, give them an extra hug, give them extra love, because when they're gone, we have a little less joy in our lives. And tonight, Aaron and I have a little less joy in our lives. <laughs> Yeah, because our cheetah girl is gone. So, cheers, dummies, <laughs> to cheetah. Uh, we love you, girl. Da -da -da -da.